It's Friday, family, and this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church, and this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And I just came by to share a word with you on the wise thing to do. Yes, that is the wise thing to do. And scripture today is going to come out of Psalms 119 and 1, and it reads, Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. So family, check this out. When you get uh, a new car or a new coffee pot or some new gadget, it comes with instructions. It comes with directions on how to use it so that that thing that you bought will work to its fullest. Amen and hallelujah. So similarly, we are to follow our maker's instructions. Uh, God's word is essential for living a life to the fullest, a, a, a life that God intends for us to live. Amen. So as Psalm 119 begins, it points out that people who follow God's ways are blessed and blameless. But there's two things that I need to clarify in that scripture, and that is the word blessed and blameless. Amen. So the first one is giving his word. God tells you this is how I created you to live. When you live according to my instructions, you will be blessed. Now, this doesn't mean that everything will be easy, but whatever the circumstances, whether easy or difficult, your life with God and others will flourish because you aim to honor and obey God. Amen. So the second one is the word blameless. So we must consider the meaning of the word blameless. So blameless doesn't mean perfect. Uh, we're not going to live a perfect life. There's only one perfect person that ever walked on this earth, and that's Jesus Christ. And scripture tells us that we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, but all who are redeemed by Christ, the Savior, are declared righteous by God. So when we believe in Christ as our Savior, uh, we long to be like him. We want to live a Christ-like life. We want to live a righteous life uh, to live God's way according to his Torah. Amen. So in Jesus says, this is what the word says. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. And you'll find that in Matthew five and six. So the hunger for righteousness leads to being filled family. That's the only thing that can fill you is the hunger for righteousness. So let me ask you, what are you hungering for? What is it that you desire? What are you hungering for? So if you want to please God, follow his word with all your heart. Amen and hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, Lord, guide me in your ways and I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. So family, until next week, this time, Friday drill with Pastor Flowers. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen and hallelujah.